Okay, so let me introduce uh, MagicCAD support hanger. Uh, for MagicCAD support hanger, we have three parts. First is about uh, support hanger installation. And second part is about uh, support hanger editing. And third part is about uh, support hanger calculation and also about uh, build material. So here you can see we have some uh, segments of pipes and uh, ducts and also cable trees. So for this case, we can install support hanger directly. For example, I want to install support hanger instance for this duct. So I just use install function and select the duct, finish, and wait for seconds. Uh, we will launch a dialog and including a lot of different uh, uh, combination or types of support hanger. So here you can see we have a lot of different combination here. And we also support uh, support hanger from real manufacturer. For example, we have this kind of uh, Hilti and also Fisher uh, inside our uh, manufacturer based products. And let me take a generic model as an example. Here, I want to install a support hanger like this. For example, I want to use this one. It's like this. So here you can check the geometry in this preview dialog and use, you can also define the uh, specification of those subparts. So you can choose different subparts, different specification like this. And after that, if you click OK, then you will get a model directly. So you can check the result here. And uh, with MagicCAD function, we can also uh, duplicate or copy the instance to another uh, segment. For example, I want to duplicate this one to here. So I use this copy function and uh, pick up this instance and install here, uh, finish. And if you check the result here, you can compare with them. For this one is the bigger size of duct. It's around like a, a 1,250. Uh, and for this duct, it's a smaller one. And if you check the instance of this support hanger, they are different. So we can update the support hanger geometry according to the uh, element size. And uh, for the uh, productivity part, we also provide this kind of array function in order to array the instance along the uh, segment uh, path. For example, I want to array along this network, so I can use this function and then define, for example, like uh, the space between each other, like uh, three meters. And I want to have like uh, 20 copies. So I pick up the instance here and uh, select the direction and wait for seconds. You can get the result like this. So that is our function to array the support hanger instance. Okay, and we can also update the support hanger or modify the support hanger instance by this modify function. You can click the support hanger instance and change uh, no matter the uh, combination or the uh, specification of subparts. So you can do like this. So that is some functions about our support hanger installation and also some kind of editing. And uh, we also support uh, those attach those slabs or uh, beams automatically. For example, here I have an instance here, and if I use array function and the array for this one and the select direction, and then you get the result as before. And here we have a slab. We have slab, and if you check the result here for this instance. Okay, we can attach to the slab automatically. And for this side, there is no uh, slab here, so it attached to the uh, top floor or top elevation. So that is our uh, function to attach uh, the slab or beam. And I should recommend that if you check the model here, the slab is saved in the linked model, not in the current model. That means MagicCAD support hanger also support with the linked models. And all our functions which I mentioned above, we also support with the slope pipe. For example, here is a pipe with slope, and I can make a section view for you like this. And then I 
go to section view and we can check result like this here is the section view here is the plan view here is the 3d view and i can do like this no matter in the plan view or in the section view i can uh, install uh, a simple one like this one is single road hanger and i select the pipe here and I select a suitable one for example like this one and okay then i install a support hanger instance here and we can also use array function uh, to make some copies like this one select the instance select direction and wait for seconds we can get the result and you can check uh, the result in the section view like this so it also can attach to the slab automatically and if there is no slab it will connect to the uh, top level automatically and we also have uh, some special uh, component or some parts for some kind of uh, like this one is uh, structure beam so we also support some sub parts of this one for example i select the install function select the duct here finish and then check for example like this one this library and you check here we have this special sub part which, which can be used to connect uh, the uh, structure beam automatically so you can also uh, select a different uh, specification for different uh, sub parts and if i click ok then you can check the result here in the cd model so we can attach uh, to the uh, structure beam automatically like this one now that is quite useful uh, for some kind of uh, different products okay now that is our some functions of of our installation and uh, about editing and as i mentioned if you have some changes uh, no matter for the uh, architecture or structure part or for the from the MEP part if you have some changes here for example i move the duct to another place like this one just move here okay so if you check the current result it is wrong because the support higher instance goes through uh, the element and we also provide this kind of update function here in order to update those instances according to the uh, latest uh, segment uh, no matter the size or the elevation or the place so i can use update function and then select the instance finish and wait for seconds we can update it to the latest you can check the result here so that is our update function yes and we also provide a special function here is we call it like a integrated support hanger because with magic head support hanger we just provide the subpart like a lego pieces for example if i create a section view here here to there create a section view and if i switch to section view then you can get a section view like this so here is the section view here is the plan view here is the 3d view and uh, for this scenario if i want to have a support hanger then i think we should do like this i want to have a main support hanger for this one and then have some sub part for this one and have some sub part like this so if this is the result uh, this is, if this is the target then we can use our magic head function uh, like this one to create an integrated support hanger so i can do like this first uh, select the install function select the parts for the main part okay and then i can select uh, uh, the main support hanger combination like this one with double layer and just select also select a specification for subpart and okay then you can get the result here and after that i want to install some subpart so i use this integrated support hanger function select the main part and select the elements here finish and then you can select a different subpart for example i want to use like uh, this one and then you can check it out in 3d view like this so we have a suitable sub part for this and if i click ok you can get the result here 
Yes, and uh, we also we can also add, uh, for example, like a cross arm for this one, still using an integrated support hanger, and uh, select this one, finish, and uh, select the sub part like this one, maybe this one, yes, for the cross arm here. If everything is okay, click OK, you get the result. So no matter how complex the section view is or how many layers you need for the support hanger or for the cross arm, you can both of these kind of scenarios, you can also use this uh, integrated support hanger function. As I mentioned in the beginning, we just uh, provide this kind of subpaths like uh, Lego pieces. You can use our integrated function to uh, combine to make me uh, make an uh, integrated one okay and uh, for this one although i created this with some subparts like lego pieces i still can use magic cat function to array the instance for example i want to array for the complex one and still uh, with uh, three meters between each other and I select this one select the direction and wait for seconds you also Get this result here. So just wait for seconds. Okay, you get the result like this. So we can also array this and we treat it like a, a whole one. Yes. So that is our uh, support hanger, I mean integrated support hanger in order to treat or fix those demand of uh, complex section view. Okay, and uh, for support hanger, we also have this kind of uh, bill material function here. We also have this bill material function. And for the bill material of uh, support hanger, we provide different levels, I mean different LOD levels. We, for example, we have this detailed report is used uh, for the fabrication part on site in order to show how to cut those materials, or how to join them. And we also have this summary report is used for the purchase stage. No matter how many instances there in this project or in this uh, floor, we just uh, uh, count the total number of those subparts. So it's summary report for the purchase. So I can take them as an example for the detailed one. If I select this plan view and export the bill material and for the current view, then you can get the result like this. So here is the bill material, detailed material report for all of instance in this view. And you can check here different materials for this instance, other materials for this instance. So that is, for, as I mentioned, for the fabrication on site. And we also have this function uh, for the summary report. So you can get this one, okay? And here, as I mentioned, is we do not care how many instances here. We just care, okay, how many material I should purchase. So that is our uh, function of uh, support hanger, bill of material. And uh, no matter a detailed one or a summary one, we also have this export function in order to export uh, an Excel file uh, for the bill of material. So everything can be exported. So that is our uh, bill of material function for support hanger.